It's very sweet. <laughs> I'm not sure if she can hear, but I thought the familiar sounds might help her feel better. It's a great idea. How is she? Well, her her, uh, her blood gas is, is improving. And her lungs? You should really talk to her doctor about that, but it seems things are looking up. One more week. I just can't wait to get her off all these machines. I know they look scary, but kids with H1N1, they're really responding well to the ECMO. She's almost there. Hi. Oh, Beth, can you hear me? Look, my leave that on is going to help you breathe. I'm, I'm Dr. Chris Sands. You're at Mercy Hospital. We're warming you up. You're going to be fine. My son. What about your son? He's still out there, please. Still out where? In the woods. Call search and rescue. Please, he's only eight years old. Paramedics can't intubate kids without base contact. I'll go. I'll go with you. We'll find him. No spontaneous respirations, bagging on 15 liters. No pulse, let's get some blankets on him. Starting compressions. Code three to Mercy. You think he's got a chance? Nope, give a shot anyway. Let's go. Three. Lord's him. Give me a portable chest now. How long was he down? You don't know. Let me take over. Okay, on my count. One, two, three. Tubes are fixed and dilated. Vortec is 74. Surface worm is not going to touch him. We need to rewarm the core. You want ECMO? Call the ICU. I'll put a 14 French in the IJ. I need ECMO to the ER. Eli! What's happening? Is he going to be OK? They're going to put him on heart lung bypass to warm his blood. We'll go out the jugular and into the crowded. Venus lines in. Got a second leader primed. Hey, it's Nurse Indignant. Somebody call for ECMO? We did. He's got a core temperature in the 70s. Cardiac rest for at least two hours. ECMO's his only shot. Then he's out of luck. We only have two machines. One's at a preemie, 25 weeker. Other one's an eight-year-old girl, respiratory failure. Swine flu. How long has she been on ECMO? Two weeks. I went over her labs. Her last gas was good, but she's not out of the woods. Well, can she come off it for three hours? Off the record, I think she'd be fine. Then let's ask her parents. You can't just let this kid die. You want to have that conversation? I don't. OK, then the kid dies. Where's the cafeteria? I'm starving. We have to try. I'll talk to them. You mind if I come with you? Just to keep up the appearance that doctors actually run this hospital? We are not risking our daughter on some million to one shot. We just need to give this boy a fighting chance. Well, I'm sorry. That's just not going to happen. What's going on? They want to take Kylie off the machine and give it to someone else. It's only for a little while. This is Eli's only chance. Are you sure that's such a good idea? Chloe, we're just exploring all of our options here. OK, well, she has to be on the machines for another week. I mean, that's crazy. OK, excuse me, if I may, I'd like to offer a solution. I could perform a bronchoscopy, insert a flexible telescope into Kylie's lungs, and instill recombinant DNAs to break up the mucus. Not only can Kylie come off ECMO, but her lungs should resume almost normal function within two hours. And why the hell didn't anybody tell us about this before? Because I wasn't here before. It's my first day. And the treatment is somewhat unconventional. Unconventional. So is she better off with the machine? ECMO is a fine option. But it does come with bleeding complications. I think this is a better way to go. If you had a solution, why didn't you just say so? You set me up in there. Uh, no, no, no. You actually set me up, which is why it works so brilliantly. You see, if you hadn't terrified and alienated them first, they never would have been open to my actually more radical solution. Well, like Fred and Ginger. If Ginger was an angry, bitter nurse. Is this actually going to work? I hope so. Hey, come on, no nagging. You're better than that. She's not, but you are. Look alive, girls. They just got interesting. 
It's still so cold. Well, that's that's actually not a bad thing, Beth. The cold is what slowed his metabolism and protected his organs. If we can warm him up slowly and get his heart started, there's a chance he'll be okay. Lines are prime, no bubbles. Okay, stop the chest irrigation. Unclamping. ECMO on. Beth, let's let the machine do its work now. Angel will take you for your chest x-ray. He's... He's crazy about the stars, you know? Last night, Mars was in opposition. Eli wanted to see it, so we went out hiking with his telescope. And I didn't know that it would get so cold. And he fell on the ice, and he sprained his ankle, and I tried to carry him, but he was so heavy. And, and then we saw this ranger station, and, and I thought that he'd be safer there. So I wrapped him in my coat. And I tried to make it back to the car, but I got lost. I never should have left him. Beth, if you didn't go for help, you both could have died out there. But he wouldn't have been alone. I could have stayed with him and held him. He is not gone. He's still here. And we're not giving up, OK? Start his heart, we're halfway there. Charging 100? Yep. Yeah. Clear. Still feed him. Try 200. Come on, Eli. Clear. Come on. There it is. Wait, we got a flyer. Now what happens? We wait. See if he wakes up. Come on, Eli. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Got a new medical technique? You gonna nag him awake? It's been 18 hours and he still hasn't woken up. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. But it would be better if he were awake by now. Then we'd know if his brain's coming back. Come on. A watched kid never boils. Hey, come on, let's take a walk. I got a better idea. Okay, that, that, that tube needs to stay in and help your lungs heal. Okay, little buddy? You won't be able to talk for a while, but I'll be right here. Eli, can you tell me what two plus two is? Go ahead, ask him something else. How many stars are in Orion's sword? <gasps> He's gonna be okay. <sighs> Is it true that you saved a little girl with swine flu so Eli could have this machine? It's what we do. <laughs> this case up for publication, I'll tell you what, I'll let you be second author. Who knows, it might even give you an actual career.